Hello everyone and welcome to this week's MySys Tips and Tricks video. We are going to talk about uh, adjusting our costs and one of the very useful functionalities in MySys is the cost adjustment under accounting. So when you go to accounting you will see that there is a cost adjustment menu where you can either adjust specific items, range of items or batch of items. Range of items specifically is very useful when you are trying to set all of your assembled items. That means items that have a bill of material. When you're trying to set their cost equal to what the assembly cost is, which is something we find on our bill of materials. So when we go to master files and bill of materials, you notice that there is a unit cost of the item but then there's an assembly cost of the item. And there is a variance between them. In this case, it's quite high, a 24% variance. And our next item, similarly on negative variance, only 27%. So where does that come from? Well, the assembled cost looks at every line, every material detail the bill of material has. The unit cost and required quantity is multiplied to get to the extended cost and the extended cost is summed and then divided by the build quantity to come up to the assembled cost. In the cost adjustment screen, we can actually use range of items and use assembled as the adjustment basis and set all our unit costs equal to assembled costs of all our assembled items. Please note that an item can have only one unit price. However, an item can have multiple bomb revisions. So in that case, the system will look at the current revision and take its assembled cost and set the unit cost equal to that. However, right now, if I try to hit adjustment basis as assemble and leave the range open so that all my assembled items get uh, processed, I will proceed. Adjustment completed successfully. So let's go and see if it actually did. You notice that it didn't. The variance is still there. You go to the next item and it is still there. And here is a little trick. In this database that I am using, I have as my costing method standard. So when standard is selected as a costing method, the recommended way is to untick cost rollup enabled in the bill of material. That is the proper way of running standard costing in MISIS. However, when this tick box is unticked, the cost adjustment does not take place. So if I were to momentarily go and Tick these two boxes and go and run this once again. And go back and take a look to see if it took. You'll notice there is zero variance. There is a small variance there, and that's because of the decimal places. And the next item also adjusted to zero. The important thing to remember here is that once you're done, you have to untick uh, those boxes. Now, if you have way too many items, you do not want to do this manually one by one. It can be done on the back end using SQL Server Management Studio, uh, running a code which will take you under five seconds to run. So tick and untick those boxes uh, when needed. And if you do not know how to do that, we can definitely help you uh, write that code and run that in the back end. Well, I hope this helps you run and use MySys more effectively.